Alrighty y'all, this is Pit Bike Mike. I uh, wanted to give you a quick rundown. Might not do really too much of a ride this morning. Still really cold, but you know, did some research on this bike last night and um, just wanted to give you all a quick update. Because so based off a lot of the videos that I've seen, um, not many people have done all the the stuff that I got on this bike. So the 2022 KTM 890 Duke GP. Um, when I bought this, I got what's called the Tech Pack, which gives me the Track Pack, which gives me a track riding mode, gives me Super Moto mode, which uh, disables the ABS for the rear tire, so you can, you know, slide the rear end around. Uh, you can turn wheelie uh, control off. It gives you better throttle mapping for track use. Um, tech mode gives like a bunch of like other random stuff. Um, so we got Super Moto ABS, which I talked about. It has what's called MTC spin adjuster. So the traction control. So like nine levels of that. Uh, track pack gives me the you know wheelie mode, launch control, engine map. Tech pack gives me you know the track, the quick shifter, and slip regulation. So let's get over here and give you a show with this display. Get this thing started up because it's cold this morning. Won't let it warm up before doing anything crazy. Ooh, all right. So we'll get you nice and close. To the uh, to the display right here, so you can see what I'm looking at. So we're gonna go to the menu, which is the set button. We will go down to ride mode. I have sport, street, rain, and the track mode. Now let's just say I want to go to the track, so I can adjust the throttle response, uh, wheelie mode, whether I want that on or off, launch control, and then when I want to get out of track mode, I just click leave track. So, um, here we'll go back up here to let's just say, so you just click on like rain, street, sport, which you can change while driving. Go down here to motorcycle, so right here, traction control and slip regulation, ABS mode road, super moto, uh, quick shifter on shift light, it will only allow you to do it after you, uh, you know, get past the 600 mile uh, service interval. Trips and data, you got trip one, which gives you your MPG 54.6 so far, which, you know, we'll, we'll definitely see 180 mile fuel range. General info, date, all that good stuff. Settings, units, language, clock, daytime running light, quick configure, which is gonna be these buttons. So while you're riding, you can do a quick change. So, and then, you know, so favorites, this, that, and the other. So when you're back at the screen, you can hit up and it'll take me to ride mode and down, which will take me to the motorcycle. So let's go back up. Let's click on sport, go down like, so that's turning all that good stuff off. Uh, ABS, all that good shit. Um, it's pretty cool. So, neutral indicator, traction control, ABS, uh, temperature, time, what their ABS mode is on, what's his road, sport mode, mile an hour, your coolant, your fuel, your tack, all that good stuff right there. You got this, your kill, kill switch and all that right here, which it's pretty cool is this illuminates. So at night you'll be able to actually see, you know, what's going on with all these buttons and also. Um, kind of interesting for like turn signal, it gives you like both sides, it doesn't do like, you know, one or the other. You got right here, your high beam, flash. So one thing I was planning on doing recently for this bike, or you know, not right at the moment, but because it is an option. I'm actually going to be maybe getting cruise control. So what it does is you swap out this unit from KTM and it will have the little K um, cruise control switch right here. 
and it will all get programmed into the computer and then I can have you know fancy cruise control so you know do once again do a little walk around the bike kind of show you those beautiful orange wheels right there just absolutely gorgeous ready to race fancy looking you know exhaust I've uh, been kind of looking at a couple videos on maybe about doing like a slip one and whatnot, but yeah. It's got a WP Apex suspension, uh, not adjustable, but um, you know, for a person like me, I, I don't need to do all that craziness. Uh, twin front calipers, I'm not really 100% sure on the sizing and whatnot, but got a pretty big exhaust and all that um so yeah this seat right here or this cover um can pop off within like two seconds and i can put the passenger seat on all i got to do is put the key right there this pops up slides off new one in not an exaggeration probably five seconds now as you all know if you watch some of my other videos i complained about the mirrors on my uh on my uh, KLX these mirrors totally better so uh, well let me let me get ready and we'll and I'll show you uh, do a little loop-de-loop -loop to try to get used to this since it's only has five miles on it I haven't gotten used to it just yet so all right so now that we're back I am going to start it off in um, street mode just because since I'm still getting used to this bike and all that good stuff I don't want to do anything uh, too crazy so um, like I said you can switch this while driving so if you wanted to all right kickstands up first gear all right Ugh, let's do a, just a couple little Ooh. So this is why kind of getting used to doing a couple loops or it's a good idea so you can kind of build a little bit of confidence with the bike and understand how she's going to work, where the clutch engagement point is. Uh, definitely a little nerve wracking doing this with a brand new uh, 890. Uh, put my foot down for a split second. No good. I'll get there eventually. But, uh, oh, yeah. It's definitely a little intimidating going from my little 19 horsepower KLX 230 Supermoto to a uh, 114 horsepower uh, 890 Duke GP. Still put my foot down a little bit. I'll get used to it eventually. It's just going to take some practice, but but we'll get out on the road a little bit just to kind of give you all a little quick rundown of this thing. Um, I'll tell you, I'm wearing my other gloves today just because working these controls with um, with the winter style gloves is a little uh, a little difficult. So, all right, here we go. This thing definitely has effortless power, I'll tell you that. Like, this thing just cruises. It, You know, with 115 or 14 horsepower, like, it, it's very manageable for, you know, I don't know. I, I, you know, as a new, if you were a new rider, I'd still be kind of hesitant on saying get something like this because it is way too easy to get ahead of yourself and hurt yourself, you know, and obviously nobody wants to do that. You know, but, um, yeah, besides that, it's, it does have the quick shifter, like I said, but once the bike's warmed up and I'm a little bit more used to it, then I'll start using the quick shifter a little bit more. Um, but the sh clutch on this thing is not heavy at all. It's pretty nice feeling. It's got a really good engagement. Um, 
you know, I'll probably adjust the engagement point, you know, like to where maybe it's a little bit closer to the uh, to the grip for how I like doing things. But I don't know. It's you know, it's all about getting used to things with a new bike. Uh, so seating position. It is um, obviously it's a little bit more hunched over than if I was on the on the Supermoto, but not hateful. It's definitely going to be something that you know you can make this kind of like a longer ride bike you know like highway stuff like that you can definitely put a couple hours on it without any issues and uh like i put on actually one of my comments um ktm actually sells an ergo seat um that is about 20 millimeters thicker and they say is I've uh, got to get used to the neutral on this bike. It's a little different than the than the uh, KLX. Here, just for SMGs sport mode. Just because I want to feel like the difference in the throttle, which definitely I can feel it this even at slow speeds it definitely wants to get going a lot easier with less of a twist of the throttle so definitely once you're used to the bike and stuff like that you know then you know you can maybe hoon around a little bit but you definitely got to be careful with this it's it's definitely an easy bike to get hurt on real quick if you're not if you're not ready for it but yeah, like this thing wants to just pull like a freight train already just in sport mode um because like the throttle maps on these things is it's impressive i will definitely admit they um it is very noticeable between you know each different riding mode and uh yeah it's gonna definitely take some getting used to um probably like especially during spring and summer once i'm used to the bike it'll probably just stay in sport mode almost all the time but um i don't know how often i'll put in the track track might you know we'll, we'll see how that feels but that might be a little aggressive for for me at the moment Uh, popped open my visor. I don't know if you'll be able to hear a little bit of a difference just because it was starting to get fogged up Saying about 43 degrees on the uh, on the TFT display, which It's probably close. It's probably pretty close All right All right, I did a quick shifter action there for you if you happen to see which I guess it's gonna get weird because like you don't have to actually close the throttle you can just you know just pop it like that and just go oh Jesus this roll on power in fourth gear like that was oh I, I it's yeah this is she's a bad bad machine and now I can just like that I can quick shift down Oh God, this thing is just, wow, whoa, this thing's awesome as shit, oh my God, oh yeah, this power, like I'm barely on the throttle and this thing just goes, oh my, Ooh. oh gosh, this is, this is wonderful, oh man. Like, yes, I love the KT, uh, KLX for, you know, being, you know, a back roads, you know, tight corner ripper. But this thing, this thing right here, this is going to be like that light, long sweeping country roads, you know, highway thing. Oh, yeah, this thing. Wow. Wow. I know it's kind of hard to describe, you know, across like, you know, the camera to you guys. But it's... 
if you have ever hopped on like a higher cc like sport naked bike you know it yeah, there is a difference and i gotta say this ktm is just so smooth it just i love how smooth this thing is all right let's because we're being kind of crazy track mode Ooh, i heard a pop All right, in track mode. Oh my God. Holy S. This thing is unbelievable in track mode. Oh my. It is like a totally different bike. Like it definitely felt like just that small little roll one that it wanted to pull up the front wheel. Oh my. Wow. That is unbelievable. Oh my God. You know, it's, I know it's hard to hear, you know, because I still have the stock pipe on this bike. And you know, obviously I'm breaking it in, so I'm not, you know, trying to, I think they said don't go above 6,000 RPM during break-in, you know, no open throttle. But, wow. Wow. This thing, it, it is a powerhouse. That track mode, if, I definitely recommend uh, spending a little bit of extra money to get it. Cause you know, it, it unlocks like a, just a different animal with this bike. So as you see right down here in the lower right hand corner, it says slip three. So that will, uh, so that means it's gonna like um, one to nine, one being it allows the most amount of wheel slip in the rear um, before traction control gets involved. So right now it's just at a three. I, I don't think I set it at that. It's like I can change it if I really wanted to, but yeah, this bike is super nimble. I will tell you what this, don't do it. Please don't do it. I don't want to be creamed yet. I just I only have five miles on the bike. Six miles, something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I ain't trying to be creamed just yet. Oh, yeah. This thing is impressive. This thing is totally, totally, totally impressive. Wow. She sounds so aggressive. <laughs> oh man, this thing puts a smile on my face like nothing else. That is, that is crazy. That is crazy. Mm. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this bike. There we go, neutral. All right. Oh man, look at my reflection. That beautiful orange bike, oh God. Oh yeah, this thing, it, it almost sounds like a muscle car, but of motorcycles. <laughs> wow. Like, obviously, you know, as my little, you know, around the town things, I normally do, like, back roads, but, you know, um, because of how cold the roads are and stuff, I'm trying not to, you know, I'm not trying to tempt fate, so I'm definitely gonna just take it easy, you know, for the most part, um, I'll probably take it out of track mode at some point soon, because it, it, it's a monster, so... I'll have to figure out how to do that momentarily. All right, go to menu, track. Ooh, it sounds like you hear some pops. All right, leave track. All right, now it's back on the street mode. All righty. Alrighty, 
coming to a stop. Boop. Neutral. Sport. Over. All right. Now we just gotta wait for this light. Wow. This this orange stands out like nobody's business. Wow. Phenomenal bike. This is a phenomenal bike so far. I. Uh, Yes, it was an impulse purchase because, you know, I wasn't planning on getting this yesterday, but, uh, yeah, yeah, I think it was worth it. I think it might have been actually pretty worth it. All right, I think it's about my time now to go. All right, here we are. Off we go, gently, gently. One lane over, two lane over. All right, sixth gear, 73, like it was nothing. The roll on power is very, very smooth. Mm, wow. Yeah, this is nice and it's got a nice uh, wide seat so when you're um, you know like highway you can scoop back on the seat a little bit it's a little bit wider you know gives you a little bit nicer of a you know perch Wow yeah this th I know this is ending up being a longer video than I thought it was gonna be but uh, yeah here we'll hop off here and the brakes are very, very nice on this thing. They're very, very nice. And these have the Continental Conti roads that are uh, on this bike from from the factory, which don't know much about them. Um, I've never had a pair of Continentals on any of my bikes before, but. He's a rocket ship. Yes, I know, I know, I know. That was a little aggressive. Probably a little, you know, a little too flamboyant to do that. There was a stop sign, but I had enough room. All right, first gear, coming to a stop. Feet down. There, almost had it. All right, neutral. So, um, peg placement, it's pretty good. Uh, as you all know, I'm about 5'9", five 5'10", five wearing boots. Um, I'm kind of on the tips of my toes, just barely. So, not bad at all. Um, the peg placement's nice. I can put my feet straight down, and the pegs aren't hitting the back of my, hitting my pant legs or anything like that, so that's nice. Which, I had that issue with the, the Yamahas, like the MT-07 and 09. Uh, it, like, when I try to put my feet directly down, like, it would want to catch my pant leg, which definitely was not, uh, definitely was not excitable. And definitely not the, not preferable, as some would say. Alright, yeah, get these mirrors adjusted out just a little bit more. There we go. Oh, a little cold, a little cold. But, uh, so yeah, I think, um, I might stop off the video right here. Just wanted to give you all a quick little, uh, little update on this thing. And kind of just do a, a subtle flex on those that, you know, that have this bike and don't have the tech pack and quick shifter and all that other stuff. <laughs> oh man this thing puts a smile on my face like nothing else oh man this thing is impressive little volvo right there was like ah oh, nah i'm not gonna get outpaced by a motorcycle <laughs> uh, little does she know 
if I really wanted to, this thing, almost anything less than a $100,000 vehicle isn't going to uh, keep up with this thing. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, this is so nice. Wow, see, it's kind of aggressive. Huh, interesting. But, alrighty, well, uh... Yeah, I think I'm going to end it off here, so uh, hope you all like, and uh, I will definitely keep you all updated on videos from this bike and my KLX, you know, as hopefully the weather starts to get better before too long, so uh, yeah, uh, peace. Quick bonus clip for you guys, a little tuck. Woo-wee! Yeah! <laughs> Oh my gosh, this thing, uh, it's going to get me into trouble. It's going to get me into trouble. And if any of my family ends up watching this, uh, see me missing. I am very, very sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah.